Alright, welcome back to Decrypted Tech. As part of our performance review of the Z87X UD3H, we're going to take a look at the new uh, Gigabyte App Center. Uh, we've kind of alluded to this, Gigabyte's changing uh, the way that they're adding their applications so that you have one area you can go to. And as you can see here, uh, the App Center, you can hit any of them from over here on this. We'll go ahead and close this out. And we'll minimize this back down. You open up your system tray and you have your App Center icon, you open it up and you can get to any one of them from there. You do have settings, again, you can change your skin color. You have green, blue, orange, and we'll set ours to green just for, you know, any reason. Anyway, we have, uh, you have an update schedule you can set up once a day, turn off when, when Windows boots up, whatever, always run on the next reboot. You have that, so now, as you can see, as we highlight each of these, it's going to turn that different color. So we'll go ahead and open up the App BIOS. Uh, this is their, uh, okay, that's fine. That BIOS, when it runs, this is their update application. This is going to allow you to update the BIOS, update certain things. You can update from, you know, you different have, have your flash memory. It's going to explain information about it. Uh, update from server. You can go here and update from the different gigabyte servers. Update from file. Uh, if you have a BIOS file on your desktop, you know, your little face-to-face -face wizard. So you can upload a new image, you can upload the current background image, so you can change the BIOS post image, which is kind of nice, um, an interesting feature. It just, and you can also save your current BIOS to a file. All right, so we're going to go ahead and close that out, and we're going to take a look at the USB blocker. Hold on a second. Looks like that BIOS is not finished running. There we go. The so USB blocker, it's kind of an on or off thing. You have, uh, there we go. So what type of uh, devices do you want to block? So you want to block printers, you can set this up here. So now if somebody plugs in a printer, um, it's not going to work. Communication class device, you can set all this up. Smart card, mass storage. So now if somebody plugs in a, a storage device, it's going to be blocked. Same thing, you can set up different vendors too. Um, it's kind of nice, you can change, tell people what you want to use those USB ports for. Um, okay, so there we go. And we'll close that out. Now we'll take a look at EasyTube. EasyTune also, this is their uh, Gigabyte overclocking software that works inside Windows. Give it a second, it's going to take to load up. Now understand that we're running on an overclock board, so it's taking a minute to figure out what's going on with the system and then provide us with more information. Okay, so you can see it's coming up, it's going to show us what our overclock is right now. For whatever reason, it's showing us at 44, uh, gig, you know, 4.4 gigahertz. It's not actually what we're at. Multiplier is actually 50, um, and uh, you know, you see the different things here. This is uh, very similar to the layout of the old uh, Easy Tune, Easy Tune 6. But now we've gone to a much cleaner, kind of a much more stylish uh, layout. And again, you can see the different colors. You know, we have the green that we have set up here, which kind of gives it a nice feel. You have your light. You have your different uh, types of uh, quick boost, which you had before, or you can move into the advanced settings. And advanced will come up here in just a second. So advanced is similar to what you had before. You have your different types of profiles you can set up. You can load profiles, save profiles, go back and forth. But this is going to give you your options to change things. Here you see our B clock, which is at uh, 100 megahertz. Our uh, turbo ratio is 50. Graphics processor we haven't touched. And of course, all your other settings, your different voltages, and your DDR timings. So that gives you uh, the different types of overclocking you have there. Of course, you have the smart fan. Okay, smart fan is going to let you calibrate the fans and set it up. Now we're running water cooling here, so we're not going to do a whole lot of. We're not going to do any kind of calibration because that throws off what we've got going on. You want to always want to have your pump running at its maximum. You don't want to adjust the pump up or down. You can adjust the fans that are on the radiator, but you don't want to adjust. Um, the actual pump. So doing this is going to check each one and it's going to set it up and that's not necessarily where we want to go with that. You do have advanced which is going to be, you know, advanced, let's just, instead of calling it advanced, we'll call it manual. So you can do RPM fixed mode, set it to a certain level, whatever you want. Smart fan, this is going to be uh, show your temperatures and your CPU fans. You can set it up by RPM or duty cycle. The reason it's not showing up is we have all of this turned off in the BIOS. Uh, you also have uh, system alerts, CPU fan, you can set it what you, you know, where you want it, temperature, you can set it where you want it, and these will set off the different alerts. Uh, 3D power, 
These are your advanced power features. So your current protection, your DDR current protection, your phase control. Um, right now we have that set on extreme performance. We want to get that upper performance for our uh, 5 gigahertz overclock. CPU VRN load line, again, we uh, extreme. Uh, the VRIN uh, protection, DDR channel protection, and of course the V-Core turbo voltage response. What do we have that set at right now? It's set at standard. Okay, and you also have a hardware monitor on here. Let me go ahead and click. Okay, so moving on, we're going to take a look at the uh, easy setup, which will pop up here in just a second. You can see you can switch your disk mode, uh, AHCI to uh, RAID, Easy Smart Response is in here, uh, Easy Rapid Start, Easy Smart Connect, all of these, uh, XHD. These are all going to be different things that you can set up directly through the uh, uh, App Center here. It's not a bad feature. Um, easy Smart Connect and Easy Rapid Start. These are going to be nice if you just want to, you know, kick things off, make things uh, boot up quicker. Of course, Smart Connect application permissions list. You can set these up, and XHD is turned off right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get back into the App Center. You also have On/Off Charge, which is going to be here. You can set what you want on the different USB ports. Um, you can rescan, find out what you want, fast charge, no sync, or just fast charge. Of course you have uh, your smart time lock. You can lock out things, not allow somebody to use this. And then the last one is going to be smart recovery. It's sort of a uh, setting it up, you can uh, select source destination of your partitions and run a backup. You can do your file recovery, system recovery. So if you want to set up a backup now, you actually tell where, you know, what's your source. So this is our primary disk. All right, that's what we want. Where do we want it to go to? If you have a network location, you can actually browse your network and send it there. It's a nice little backup utility. You can back up everything, including your system. You can just do a system or you can back up the entire image. So it's a nice utility that's added into the App Center. Again, Gigabyte's done a little bit, uh, well, actually, I should say a lot to improve the overall appearance of this. And then of course you have your live update which is going to open up and will allow, actually allow you to update any of the applications from a single source or you can choo pick and choose what you want. So this takes a couple seconds as it reaches out to the internet. It also does it every time you power it on. Again, that's one of those options. Do you want it to check for updates every time you boot up or do you want it to check once a week? And you can see, you can either update everything or you can update individual items. And you'll see what the current version is, and what the current version is and what the new version is. And each one of those is going to give you that uh, different option. Again, you see we don't have fast boot installed. And of course you can set up new drivers on off charge, all of that, and you just click up, you select the one you want and click update and it's going to take care of that for you. So that covers everything with the App Center. Uh, again, it's an improved uh, sort of interface and a, an improved layout for everything, including EasyTune, which is kind of nice. We did have a small problem with the mon hardware monitor. Um, that was only when we are overclocked. Um, it does crash as soon as you open it up, uh, as we showed you a few a uh, little bit ago. And there's just right now, there's no way for it to pick it up when you have it overclocked. It still wants to continue crashing. Uh, we're pretty sure that Gigabyte will work on updating that. We didn't have any problems when we were at stock speeds, though. So the application ran really well under that, and the hardware monitor worked uh, perfectly. But with some of the things we have turned off, like uh, you know the Intel speed step, all of that, as you disable those features and as you change certain features in order to overclock, the hardware monitor just doesn't appear to be able to adjust to that at this time. Um, not a knock on Gigabyte. Uh, we've seen several different uh, programs and applications to monitor devices and you know monitor systems that just sort of fail whenever you hit that overclock, just because of the little things that you have to turn off in order to maintain stability or to hit the speeds that you want. Um, as always, if you like this video, be sure to click on the like button, make sure you share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with the news and reviews we have for you. Thank you.